Hi fishing world, welcome back to the Amfish Fishing Video Blog. I'm Bill Jardopoulos, your host. Taking a second out here on another bass outing to do a video blog on thumbing a bait caster. Thumbing a bait caster, I'm going to bring this right up here to the camera, is basically when you apply, don't mind that dirt there that I got from one of the fish I caught earlier, had some bunch of weeds and dirt on it, but um, thumbing, applying a little bit of pressure on the spool, on the line when you're actually casting. Very important with a bait caster, with a spinning reel, you're pretty much not going to be doing that at all. A lot of people avoid bait casters for the sole purpose of they're hard to thumb, they're hard to use. I'll come in and see if I can do a cast from here. Just to show you all at home that it is not that bad. So I'm just resting my thumb right on there. As I bring the rod back, you'll see that line just going right underneath my thumb. All I'm doing is applying a little bit of pressure. You're not going to do this. You're not going to squeeze it and stop your bait. You're not going to apply that much pressure. You're basically doing is keeping your thumb on there. And as you cast, all I'm doing is, again, you can move your thumb around if you want, if it, whatever feels comfortable. But that's, that's the key. you got to thumb these. These have an open spool. I'm going to demonstrate something here. If you do not, let me turn my boat so I want the sun. I'm actually still visible, but I'm going to turn my boat a little bit, and I'll show you something here because they have an open spool. Open spool means as soon as my bait hits the water, the line's going to pump out. If you don't thumb, this is what happens. Didn't do it on that cast, so let's see if we can replicate this. Ideally, what should happen, and obviously because I'm shooting a video, it's, it's going to be hard for me to replicate this, but let's see if I can get it off. If I don't spool it, that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to get a little bit of a bird nest. So thumb those reels, practice it, put something light on. Uh, you can tie a little bell sinker. Practice at home. If you're having a little bit of a hard time on the water, practice this at home. Practice it in your, well, your basement. It doesn't matter, even outside in your backyard. Just do little, little things like that where you're actually just applying a little bit of pressure on that reel itself and the spool itself. But don't avoid a bait caster for that reason. Put the time and effort into learning them. You'll, you'll understand why I've done this video for that purpose because these are a great reel to use, great for power fishing, great for retrieving baits very quickly. So thanks for tuning in. Hope these tips have helped.